Yeah, so I'm Michael, uh, one of the directors of Biodiversity, uh, which is a company we started two years ago. Uh, and uh, the vision of which is really to preserve bees, biodiversity, uh, food diversity, so agriculture as well. Um, so it's a broad, broad project. Well, basically, this, this is, for example, a project we have. So we place uh, beehives uh, at partners' uh, locations. Um, and in one beehive, you have 50,000 bees that will, on average, pollinate uh, 4 million flowers within a surface of 700 hectares per year. So they have a huge impact on the environment by pollinating. They enable, you know, flowers to reproduce themselves. Um, so they generate or preserve biodiversity, which is one thing. And then the added value is that they bring pollen back in the boxes, you see, which are the beehives. And so they bring tons and millions of samples that after that we can analyze and we can see what kind of pesticides you have in the environment, what kind of pollution, uh, what kind of biodiversity or not. You know, if, if there's a lack of biodiversity, we can really identify it. So we can identify whatever problem is in the environment and then uh, propose some really specific measures, targeted measures to improve the environment. Um, so we have projects, for example, where we, outside of Brussels or of the city, of course, where we can find pesticides and we can identify who uses those pesticides, for example, farmers. And then we work with those farmers to uh, improve the situation and, uh, you know, train them on other ways of, uh, of acting to reduce pesticides. We work with citizens as well. You know, once we find that pesticides come from citizens, we try to inform them on other measures that can be taken. Um, if we find heavy metals, we try to identify the source and work with the people at the source and when there's a lack of biodiversity then we really advise on what you have to plant to improve uh, the situation so it's uh, okay. quite broad and we try to collaborate with all the stakeholders you know uh, farmers citizens uh, companies uh, cities uh, etc okay uh, so for example we're now at uh, yeah right in the center of our, our company yeah so wh what is the the involvement of, the, of this company. Of this example. company? Yeah. So we're in Brussels here, yeah. in, a, in a nice environment uh, uh, in Brussels, and the company wanted first to place those beehives to have an impact on the environment and on biodiversity, um, mm. then to inform you know, people in-house and the stakeholders, stakeholders they have, so employees, for example, but also clients or suppliers. And so we, we distribute you know, honey pots or, or seeds uh, that really uh, raise awareness on the issue and on the measures you can take. For example, the seeds here explain what you can do in your garden to improve the situation. That's one thing. So they really want to inform people, inform the neighborhood, inform the employees and so on. Um, and then we're controlling the environment as well here. Um, and once we find that there's a problem in the environment, then we can act with the municipality, for example, to improve the situation uh, in this case. Okay, okay. And, um, yeah, if you're talking about uh, sustainability, do you have, uh, like, what is your definition of sustainability? Well, for me, there's two important, you have many definitions, I think. For me, there are two important aspects. It's first, you have to have a, a social impact, uh, yeah. so positive social impact whatever it is but it has to be a positive social impact that's first and second your project has to be financially sustainable and so we try to really link both uh, meaning that the more projects we do uh, the more financial support we have but the more impact and social impact on the environment but on people as well uh, will have so it's uh, I think it's being able to link both, so social impact and uh, financial uh, sustainability.